think there is a real need for a centre like this for young people. Um, it really is a, a one-stop shop in terms of a great educational resource around safety, um, physical health and emotional well-being. You're teaching these children this at an early age so that they can uh, use this throughout their life. You're not waiting until something goes wrong. Our children have gained more knowledge in one afternoon uh, than we could possibly do over six, seven, eight weeks. It was absolutely fantastic. Certainly the P7s moving on to the big school next year. They're going to have to be more independent. They're going to have to get on buses and trains to get to their, their second year grammar schools. So uh, this is essential and it, it's perfectly timed for these kids. Well, they need to see that the people are out there to help them. Not everybody who works in sort of the emergency services are, are sort of like sometimes their enemies. There is people out there who can help them through everything they do in their life. The ability to really offer a very tailored information sessions, interactive um, workshops um, in, a, in a, an environment that is very close to real life is really something that is very unique. It's important to put some money into this and then that money will see benefit because people will be better educated in, um, you know, in, in watching out for the dangers which after all cost so much to our health service and to our fire authority and other organisations. This is about their safety uh, and this is something they can carry right throughout their life. Our children through the workshops gain so much knowledge in all areas of safety and our children are absolutely buzzing. You're quite stunned with the amount of uh, time and effort uh, and the money that's gone into setting this up. Uh, some of the scenarios are, are really quite awe-inspiring. They're finding out more about issues that may affect their lives or already do and I think it's just um, given a chance to raise some of these topics in a really um, informal and um, also informative way. A uh, very engaging centre that provides a lot of information on a range of different topics to a lot of young people in a very condensed short space of time. There is absolutely the possibility that this centre can save someone's life. From the likes of Samaritan's point of view, we very much are wanting to reach out to young people and young adolescents and this is a great opportunity so Samaritan's will be able to be involved. This is fun but they're also getting education at the same time. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. It's really realistic. Yeah. All of the agencies that are involved have a message to get across to, to young people and it's fantastic that they can bring it all to one place and learn it all uh, in one really fun, uh, young, vibrant uh, environment. It, it should be something that should really be celebrated as well because there's been a lot of work that's went into it already and I think it's just a sign of good things to come. Uh, informative, full of education, fun and a tremendous resource that should be used. So, so innovative and such a wonderful centre to be able to help at the end of the day keep our children and people safe. This is a really rare example of a very proactive and innovative approach to looking at prevention rather than cure. So very exciting I think for Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm.